All right, so I had like no intention of making this video originally, but well, I'm gonna do it anyways because my video talking about this chicken is not gonna come out for at least a couple days now. So I figured I'd talk from my heart about this chicken. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of my channel because for whatever reason I've seen these videos blow up like to tens of thousands of views, which I doubt will happen, but you know, possibility is a possibility. Um, so if you don't know, I have a chicken named Lovey. Um, here is what Lovey looks like, but on screen you're seeing an older picture, just the most iconic picture. If you don't know, I have a website actually. And for those of you that actually, like the three of you that actually frequently visit that website, um, you might notice a new blog post came out this morning talking about how the most iconic chicken on this channel had unfortunately passed away at the age of three. So if you don't know, the age of three is just about, I wanna say probably just maybe like, maybe about 45 in human years. So it's just about, so about 45 years probably. So I figured, yeah, why not post that? So if you don't know, my chicken Lovey, the most iconic chicken on this channel, she's been featured in multiple viral posts, has received nearly 50,000 views on this channel and 88,000 views scattered across multiple different channels, um, has unfortunately died as of this morning. She was buried right over there. You might be able to see where the dirt was turned up. So if you're wondering how she died, so I was about maybe 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I spring out of bed, I hear my dogs barking. But because it's the weekend, I'm like, they're probably barking at a rabbit because, you know, that's what they always do. And that was my dog barking, but it was much louder. And I was like, you know, what? I'm going to spring out of bed and look over there. So I looked over there and I see the dog with her snout out of the yard. And I was like, Bro, what you barking at? I tapped at the window and said, shut up and went back to sleep. And because, well, it was 730 on a Saturday morning. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to talk to you right now. Nope, not at all. And um, I go to bed. And I stay in bed until 11 because, you know, my lazy self is determined to sleep in on the weekends. And um, that cost me a chicken, unfortunately. You see, there was a chance that if I sprung out of bed the second I heard the dog barking, ran over, and scared the hawk off, that there would be more of her mane left of the chicken or she would have been significantly injured. Lovey, the most iconic chicken on this channel, was killed. And I'd rather not describe the scene, but I can show you the trail that the hawk left. Because that's just a bunch of feathers. The scene um, that's buried now was extremely gruesome. I will try my best to not describe it, but you probably already know what it looks like in your head. So, yeah. Unfortunately, yes, this is the case. And here you can see these feathers just scattered around over here. And if you follow me, right over here, there is a little bit of skin. So I'll use a light blur over here. But the skin is very non-existent. It's like chickens have gotten... I've seen chickens with way deeper wounds. If that was just the wound the chicken got, and she might have survived. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Now, I would have used a more intense blur if the chicken was not yet buried, but you can sort of see right here she was buried. And you can sort of see this trail of dragged grass showing that this was most definitely a hawk. This is how you know if it's a hawk attack. And she died right over here somewhere, right around here. The reason you can tell it's a hawk attack is because hawks can't pick up chickens. If it was a fox, there'd be a trail of feathers if the chicken was grabbed by the tail. If it was grabbed by the neck, no feathers. Same with bobcats. This time there's a trail of dried grass, and with the recent abundance of rain, it's been helping us grow some grass over here, which can determine that there was definitely some dragged grass over here, which just shows that uh, whatever got this chicken really tried to, they're all in trying to get this chicken. Typically red tail hawks usually eat where they find the chicken, but I guess my dog scared it a little bit further off, so I was looking for privacy. He was like, F y'all dogs, I'm, I'm not being anywhere near y'all. So it dragged it out to there, and unfortunately, never seen again after that very moment. And I best believe that, that hawk was pissed. And I mean ripping pissed, when probably one of us opened up the door, or it was just too lazy to finish up the job. Because hawks, a lot of the times, kill chickens, eat a small portion of it, and then just leave it. So, yeah. Please share this video out. Please like and subscribe. I'd really, really greatly appreciate it if you can share Lovey's legacy and talk to your family and friends about this chicken and talk about how this chicken was a great chicken and how we should celebrate this chicken for the remainder of this channel's career. For now, I've changed my profile picture. My banner will likely be changing in the coming days. School ends next week. Daily uploads will continue as of right now. And I can't wait to see you in one of the videos on the screen.